Hi everyone, Adrian here and welcome to Wild Bush and Grit. So if you remember a few weeks back, I posted a video about the Chiap Chiapa. Yeah, I've been corrected on this. Not Chiapa, but Chiapa, little badger. And I was making, you know, just a, a quick review on, on this peculiar rifle that I actually really, I'm very fond of, that I really like. And during the video, I was saying this. I'm also looking for cool ideas because I think, you know, this can look a lot a lot cooler than what it is at the moment. So, actually, you know what? That's maybe warrants another video. We'll see, we'll see. Well, guess what? Someone answered to the call and big shout to Longshot Manufacturing. They contacted me and they said, you know, we can send you some stuff if you want to try it out. And in the process, giving them my, um, my impression on the stuff that they were sending me. Um, thank you so much to Jerry and Melanie at Longshot Manufacturing. You've been so kind. I greatly appreciated to receive all this wear and try them on, on my little badger. And so I want to show you what I have. So this is how I outfitted it. So I received a lot of various custom parts and, you know, barrel shrouds, Picatinny rail, um, muzzle muzzle brake to uh, to dampen the heavy recoil of the 22 caliber here i got an extender for the hammer which makes it much more um, ergonomic you know and also cover for the bottom here uh, some extra item that i added is a pouch on the buttstock and actually like this one i tried a couple of um I tried a couple of pouches, you know, I had this one, also had another one, uh, like this one. But in the end, I think, you know, I, I really like this one because of the shape of it, you know, almost like a triangular uh, shape and the way it hooks. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna, you know, put it, probably boar snake. Uh, here I have a knife. You can add some extra ammo and, um, you know, like regular stuff. Also, something else I had added are actually front sights. So I got these from Amazon, so they're not made by uh, Longshot. But I really like the, uh, the, pro the low profile that they provide. Now, some of you, I know you noticed, I put them backward because technically they should be on the other side, but uh, having them facing that way, so far I'm not seeing any uh, downside actually, having them set up like this. And I would say the, um, the reason I put them facing this way was when they lay flat, they don't actually protrude, you know, protrude because like if I were to put this one, if I were to flip the rear sight, it means it will fold out outward. And when you break the rifle, it was kind of poking out here and I didn't like that. So that's the reason I flipped it. The, con of that is you're actually not seeing the windage alignment but you know what for what i'm going to do with this little rifle a short range for a small game i don't need that much of a you know adjustment shooting adjustment shooting as soon as i'm zero around 30 yards i'll be good and th that's usually the range that i'll be going for and then it's for me to learn how to shoot at further range or closer range using these so the this the rear sight has a flip top which makes it so you have one for shorter range and another one which is, has a smaller peep sight for longer distance so that's pretty cool so let's go over the actual uh, what you know what i decided to, to use on this rifle and why i think these uh, these parts and one thing i want to mention is as i was on the phone with jerry he was very clear. He's not looking for a positive review. And, you know, he say, just give us your honest feedback and this is what they're gonna get. So uh, I just wanna put it out there that I've been looking long and hard at these things, trying to find, you know, things that I didn't like. And in all honesty, <laughs> I like it all. Uh, I do have uh, some suggestion though, you know, to, uh, to make a few things and we'll go over that uh, a few seconds. But overall, I really like the quality that this, this part seems to be. And of course, I did not field test them uh, yet. Uh, you know, I, I didn't have like a full uh, season of hunting. And know also that I'm not going to use these accessories 
in a life of death scenario. Okay, I'm a hunter. Uh, this rifle will not save my life. So let's can, let's start. So at the end here, I replaced the cheaply made uh, barrel cap that comes on the rifle. You know, it's plasticky. This one is much more solid. It has actually a cool look. You know, with like vent hole uh, all around it. And I'm sure this is going to absorb a lot of recall of the 22 caliber because you know when that thing's fire, you need to control it really hard. And I think this is going to be helpful. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Just for the look, I think it looks really good. The the handguard here on the barrel, uh, I don't think I will fire that rifle enough to burn myself on the barrel. But what I have to say though is that handguard makes it actually nicer to hold. You know, the barrel is very thin and I was debating whether I use paracords or not. You know, like I could tie the paracord uh, string all around the barrel. And I decided not to. The reason is where I am here can get wet a lot and rust will inevitably set in, uh, you know, on the barrel if I were to paracord it. So I like this, this is, you know, ventilated. That's pretty cool. And when I hold it, first my hands, oily hands are not in contact with the blue finish. And when holding it, it's a much larger surface, which makes it much more comfortable, you know, to, uh, to position yourself. I removed the plastic Picatinny rail. Uh, long shot sent me one, two, three sides. Yeah, so I have the long one, which I'm using here. They also sent me a, a medium size one and I also have a barrel shroud short barrel shroud that also have a Picatinny rail on top of it I tried this one at first and this one you know goes like at the bottom I don't know if you can like place it wherever you want well, I'm sure you can place it wherever you want on the rifle like you know but I, I just went I don't, I don't have an extra accessories anyway to use with the Picatinny rail here so I just decided to go with the long barrel shroud uh, speaking of barrel shrouds they also have another one which is looks like you know it's like a carbon fiber type, type of pattern on it looks really good very light uh, it was one or the other and i think i prefer the look of the one that i'm actually using here the only only thing you know i saw on uh, actually on the shrouds was that i think you know Again, it's not a big deal. It's if you see here where you have the screws, the way they've been drilled, uh, you have like exposed metal. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit of paint around it would have been nice uh, out of factory, but it's fine. I have some black paint here. I can go over this and voila. You know, it's going to take five seconds and it's going to be done. Um, in terms of suggestion, what I can maybe suggest is okay let's start with this first the originally i wasn't sure of using the handle okay and i put it on yet and i tried it and oh my god yes it does make a whole world of difference in the handling of this little rifle it, it does make a difference therefore and mind you my i knew it would help but i was afraid of losing a lot of portability you know when, once the rifle is folded I was afraid that it doesn't fold as narrow as it used to. Um, truth is, it still folds fairly well. And if you want, you know, right now I'm not missing much, but if I wanted to go even further, I could, I could modify it and either grooving the interior here, making it shorter or, you know, making that, that the whole handle slightly shorter. It's not like, my whole hand was in it anyway you know i'm only holding it with two fingers and having it a little bit shorter won't bother at all uh, my handling of this rifle and it will allow uh, it will allow the the rifle to fold even further so that's pretty cool the front side i got those front side on amazon pretty cheaply i'm gonna try them i'm not a hundred percent convinced yet i might revert to the red dot that i had but I want to give this a try. I really like the low profile. You know, the red dot was kind of bulky and I didn't like that a lot, but this so far good. I still need to hit the range and see how accurate I can shoot with that. Knowing also that, you know, they're pretty close to one another, right? It's not like if I had one in front, one in the rear, uh, I might actually look into uh, a different solution. You know, if I can have something in the front that actually folds, that would be, uh, 
even better. Uh, so yeah, the hammer extender, neat. It's much easier to operate. I can operate it now with my index and that's pretty cool. The little bag here, the little pouch, uh, it's a Condor pouch, nothing special to it. Uh, I managed to, the stock is actually going through the Moly uh, retainer here at the back of the pouch. And this, uh, I'm just closing this part here, you know, so they don't just flap in the wind. In the pouch, you can add whatever accessories you need. You know, if this is your survival rifle, you can add like lighter, fishing line, hooks, little flashlights, little knives, blades, whatever floats your boat. And am I forgetting something? And that's it, folks. The... Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know in the comments, you know, what, what are your favorite accessories for your little badger? How do you use it? What's the main purpose of your little badger? So, all right, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. See ya.